just finished making a quick breakfast. I just made waffles. That's it. And just a quick little something to hold me down until like dinner time. I have leftover sancocho, which I'm so excited about because my dad came over yesterday to bring some. And I just have to make rice because I only had a little bit of rice left from yesterday. So I'm going to make some rice so I can have some sancocho again today because you know, you know, sancocho is the best. So last night I washed my hair and I kind of like gave myself like a quick little rinse using the Shea Moisture Conditioner and I just air dried my hair. I like dried it in a towel because I knew I wanted to do my hair. Today I was planning on doing like a whole video and stuff but I have like four videos to edit today and it's already three o'clock. I didn't wake up super duper early today and because of that I feel like I wasted a lot of time. My hair needs some loving and it looks dry and it actually kind of feels dry but I'm going to be doing my hair on camera with you guys like for an actual video like my little Chelly's cocktail series that I started and you guys are actually really loving so I'm going to save that for that tomorrow and I'm just going to be using the Botanica Mousse. This is the Enhancer Mousse. My curls are now fully styled and I'm gonna go ahead and just diffuse my hair just so that I'm not walking around with dripping wet hair. My back is already cold, Mio's grumpy and tired and so is Milo so I'm gonna go ahead and just diffuse it and I'll show you guys the result. They're looking really nice and juicy. Now let's hope that they stay. I want an elongated look so instead of uh, diffusing like this, like cupping my hair, I'm actually gonna try to dry it kind of flat and then fluff it out for some volume. And this is the final look. I love the way it turned out. It feels really nice and fluffy and soft. And I think it's a great way to just quickly style your hair. Make sure you dry it though because I have used just mousse on its own. And I've air dried it. And by the end of the night, my hair just felt like a tangly mess and it wasn't cute. So I think the trick is making sure that you're diffusing your hair while it's wet um, right after styling so that you don't have frizz and stuff. But I love how this looks. Let me know what you guys think about like using a mousse as like a quick way to just wash and go your hair for the day instead of having it up in a bun if I wasn't like filming or anything this took about 30 to 40 ish minutes just the styling and the drying process so it's not like quick like super quick but it's way less time than like layering a bunch of products and then drying it for an hour and stuff so just a quick little easy wash and go. I do want to grow out my hair again, you guys. I know I'm a hot mess. Sometimes I want it short. Sometimes I want it long. But that's the beauty of curly hair. You can style it to where you get a lot of shrinkage. But you can also style it to where you get a lot of elongation. And right now, I don't know why, but I'm feeling the super voluminous elongated look. And now I'm like, hmm, I kind of want to grow out my hair super long again. Like way longer than I had it before. So got the packages that I'm very excited to share with you guys. We got two of them. So this one is from Ulta. Oh, I thought this was going to be way bigger. Well, this is actually tiny. This is the, the Curl Smith Bond Curl Rehab. And it looks like this. I don't know why it looks bigger when people were using it. But this is only eight fluid ounces. And it was about 30-ish dollars around there. So it wasn't cheap. I don't know why I thought it was going to be bigger. And then from Ulta, I also restocked on one of my favorite, all-time favorite cleansers that I use, oh my God, so consistently. This is the Urban Skin RX Even Tone Cleansing Bar. And I've done like videos on this. I used to use this all the time. But I ran out of it and I just never like restocked. But I did this time because I feel like my face was getting used to the CeraVe cleanser that I've been using a lot because I was using 
using it day and night and I also noticed that my skin is feeling a little bit too dry so I want to switch it around and play with a different cleanser like every other day or in the morning I'll use one and at night I'll use like a different one instead of using the same cleanser every single day because I feel like my skin is starting to get used to it I am on my second bottle of cleanser as well so all of that I don't want my skin to get used to it and then I start breaking out and it doesn't work but this is really really good from Urban Skin RX I bought three of them because I think they were having some kind of sale so I got three of them I'm fully fully stocked and I love this cleanser so much Oops. I did notice a huge difference as well when I started to use this. I don't really play around with cleansers that much because when I did, my skin wasn't having it. But this one and the one that I'm currently using right now from Sarah V were life-changing. I also want to start getting into retinol because I know it's really good for your skin. I just haven't done enough research on it until now. So I did see that Urban Skin RX released the Retinol Rapid Repair and Dark Spot Treatment. So this is something that I want to start incorporating in my routine. Routine. and after I got my facial at Ona Salon in Jersey she mentioned retinol and she mentioned the importance of toning and serum and all that stuff so I do want to start incorporating that into my routine very freely I don't want to feel pressured to have to do like a seven step routine but on pamper days you know like be able to use a serum and a toner and all that stuff so retinol it's really good for your skin so I'm going to read more on this on how I can use this we got a PR mail from me how cool I was really excited when I saw this in the mail I was like what I'm excited to see what is in this box I'll start pulling stuff out okay so the first one we have is the protein deep conditioner I don't know if I've used this one before but this is the protein one I do have it though we have the sculpt curl defining gel which is new so I'm excited about that because I love gels absolutely love gels and here we have the moisturizing deep conditioner you can also feature this in a video upcoming uh, oh we got some more stuff in here hold on guys there's more up here the leave-in conditioner and I like the packaging it's pretty cute and then we also have the Sofe free shampoo and then last but not least we have the leave-in curl refresher spray I kind of want to put some of the refresher spray let me spray some in my hand it doesn't come out like a mist it comes out like those like the look I don't know if you can see that but it comes out very like aggressively and it has the consistency of like a thick cream, like a watery cream. But it smells really nice. I'm going to put it in my hair anyway. <laughs> I definitely can't squirt this in my hair, but I will put it in my head and then kind of scrunch it upwards. But it smells really, really nice. Let me know if you guys have tried these products before. I know the channel Mad Curls here on YouTube. They both rave about the deep conditioners, so I'm excited to see how those work out. I just got an idea of this hairstyle and I kind of want to do it. I have seen it on straight hair, but I haven't seen it on curly hair. I'm going to just time lapse this really quick while you guys see me struggle. I'm going to put something on on YouTube really quick. The only thing I do not like about springtime is that these allergies, they really start acting up. And I've been dealing with allergies for about two weeks now, I feel. So here's what I came up with, just a little fun style. I first did it with regular like hair ties and then I was like, it wasn't working out. It was looking kind of weird. I needed to blend a little bit more so I just switched it to rubber bands. It's pretty messy but I'm kind of digging it. I kind of want like the more messy look. I have here the Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Curl Quench Foaming Mousse. My husband just finished using it on his hair so I'm going to take probably like two pumps and just gonna run it through my hair just to maybe smooth out any frizz that I caused by separating them. See that kind of just tamed it so I'm gonna do the same thing. Just two more pumps for these little hairs over here and again we're just trying to define the curls just a little bit more. Nothing crazy while I do my makeup it's going to just air dry and then we can go fluff. You see that? It gets a little bit more tamed now versus this side which is a little bit more wild which is a cute look too but I always I guess kind of just go for the tamer look I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit because I want elongation I don't want so much shrinkage 
just one more pump and then just kind of smooth that onto my hair to tame those little frizzies see that looks so nice once it's like fully dry i will go back and fluff i am ready for some skincare let me go wash my hands really quick because now i have all this foam on my my hands oh i should put some on my little hairs here because these get pretty frizzing let that dry a little bit like so to define those curls i am so excited that i now have my big chair over here because this chair is so comfortable the pink one was comfortable too but this one is just comfort on another level like i love this chair so much milo mia my lips so today we're going to be making a an exchange because i bought an acrylic board for this wall over here which is now bare um, i had the calendar there but the calendar was just way too big because i got a bigger tv so it was covering it and it just wasn't working out so i gave the calendar to my mom she's a teacher so it'll be great for her to like write out her month and stuff and it's nice and big so she can just like write stuff in it so i'm gonna downsize to something smaller and it's actually a monthly it's actually a weekly thing i'll show it to you guys once i'm done like doing my makeup and stuff but it's so nice and i love it because it's by the company radon and that's been one of my favorite companies from like home goods and home scents and all that stuff so i am very excited how we got it from is deep in jersey and i'm hoping that they have it here where around like where we live like the marshals are on here so we don't have to go all the way over there but worst case scenario we might have to go there if they don't have it like by us because i really really like that one and it's just so beautiful so i'll show you guys what that looks like in a bit i'm gonna go doing my makeup i am doing a very simple makeup today because i Again, we're just running errands nothing crazy it is the first day of spring though and i am kind of inspired to do like a spring makeup look but we don't have that much time we're gonna go on a drive after we do the return and the drive is gonna be about an hour so i don't have time to like do the whole shebang bang but makeup for me is like therapeutic like sometimes when i'm like really in the mood i just like to take my time and do my makeup and i feel like that's when i have like the best makeup days when i rush sometimes my makeup doesn't come out that cute okay brows are done for the most part i did like a super <laughs> messy job today not intentionally i don't know why i just need to get i have like my urban decay brow blade that i always use i feel like i need to restock on these i have three of them but well i have three of them but i have no more of like the pencil i just have like the liquid like the pointy one but i need to restock or at least like try to find a different eyebrow pencil because the ones that i have now i don't have any more and i'm like struggling to do my brows I feel on some clear glasses and i'm ready to go oh i'm gonna show you guys the little board that i was talking to you about to do like my weekly to-do list okay so here's the little weekly thing that i was telling you guys about it's by the company ray dunn and it's an acrylic whiteboard which is so cool and it breaks it down instead of having a full calendar view i think it'll just be easier to see my week breakdown instead hello hello babushita how you doing hi babush hi babush you handsome boy so yeah but it's scratched up very minor but i'm very picky so it was 50 bucks so i was like i might as well get one that's like brand spanking new so hopefully we get to exchange it for a new one back home now we got the handyman putting up the beautiful weekly to-do list we found one excuse my shoes i was gonna wear those but didn't end up wearing them what should we watch today i was watching safe haven cute movie safe haven look how beautiful 
I'm obsessed. This is so nice. Now I can actually use it and see everything like there, you know? I have to paint this. I don't know why this is red. So I'm gonna see if we have a paintbrush. We have backup white paint, but we don't have a paintbrush that I know of. So let's see if we can find one. And then I'm gonna decorate it with this little guy. Just so cute to just keep here in the corner like that hey milo look at my room literally a mess i was rushing to do my makeup today and then i want to get like a little mug here to put like my dry erase markers i have a couple and i bought a pack from walmart but it actually went to my parents house instead so i think i'm gonna see my parents sometime tomorrow maybe and they'll bring it but i do have backup ones here that i can that i could probably like display here so and then I can put my little candle, which I always have. This candle is the one that always is warm because this is actually the heater. And so I always have it here. And then I'll put my little cup here. Let's, let's find the cute one. We found a paintbrush, which is all beat up and messed up, but that's okay. That will do the job. I'm going to go ahead and paint this so that we have a nice, white, clean stuff. And then I'm going to upgrade my little to-do list for the week so that I can start planning out look at the difference with just one coat it looks so much better i'm obsessed so i'm going to let this dry i have two packages i want to open up and then i need to clean up this little mess that's going on here first package is something that i got for here it's like a mouse pad let me open it because i'm not a fan of this one i was in the beginning but i'm not a fan anymore see how it looks i hope it looks nice mm. It's a little warmer. Well, it's a good size-ish. It's a good size. Okay, so here is the final look. It's not my absolute favorite, but I think it's okay. I thought this was gonna be a little bit more light. That's probably me just being very picky. And also bring it down to here, maybe? So that it's like right in the center but it's better than this i think i don't know i guess i'll have to like see how i like the look but it is from an etsy shop i will link it down below they have a bunch of different sizes and prints but this is the size and print that i thought would fit best because the other one was going to be a little bit too big oh my god look how beautiful oh my goodness i got a new macbook pro case let's go put it on look how beautiful i just put it on my computer i have like a sticker under from a previous case but this is stunning it definitely goes with my aesthetic i love it it's also again from an etsy shop and it looks so beautiful i always gotta leave my computer charging because apple does not want to fix my computer so it is very annoying but it looks so stunning on my desk i'm literally obsessed with it it's so stinking cute i love shopping at like etsy shops because i always get to find unique items that not many people have because they are like small businesses so i always like to get some stuff from etsy shops and support small businesses those are my two little packages that i was gonna unpackage for today what time is it i just have my phone i don't even know what time is it i'm a mess oh my god it's 10 o'clock well it's 9 54 almost 10 o'clock but it's a saturday night saturday night we like to just chill hang out we just did a whole bunch of errands today i didn't really vlog because we were just kind of talking and um i didn't want to interrupt like our conversation by just pulling out the camera just to document it so it was more just kind of like living in the moment type of thing i did get some new pajamas by the way from fashion nova so it's super cute i got it in black as well it's super comfortable it also has a hoodie but i'm probably never gonna use the hoodie but i wanted to get um, a bunch of just cute loungewear especially since i'm like home most of the time i am very late to the like the loungewear game but i got a couple cute pieces from fashion nova from pretty little thing from boohoo to just like chill in the house and i got some really cute tops as well because i did like a massive closet declutter and i'm also gonna do like my drawers and stuff like that so i took got rid of a lot of clothes and i'm just swapping them out for other pieces that are more like my style and are more comfortable for being in the house and like tops and stuff like that so i'm excited to start seeing those pieces start to come home starting to arrive little by little but yeah i think the wall over here is dry i think i can go in with my second layer i think i could do that and then i'm going to clean up this room so this is now finally dry. I actually decorated it just a little bit with some pieces that I had kind of just lying around here. And I also 
hey, hey, filled up my to-do list for next week. This is kind of like a rough estimate of things that I want to get done next week in terms of work. So I'm going to keep this as my work one because here I do have a daily one. This one is more of like a detailed one. So I have rent, clean the home, edit the vlog, Bible time, create a thumbnail. So these are more in details of things that I want to do on a day-to-day -day basis. And then this one's going to be like a weekly overview in, ter in terms of content, in terms of due dates, in terms of like family Zooms, family events or anything like that. This is where this will be. And so I color categorized it by just color. <laughs> like category like vlogs is all one color. Editing days are is all one color and stuff like that. So I can kind of keep myself in order. And then as for decoration, I just put this plant that was already here. This playa candle, which I love having it here because when this gets hot, it liquefies and the room always smells really nice and delicious. In one of my recent PR mails, I got some crystal I'm not really into crystals. They don't really mean anything to me, but I saw them as like really cute decor items. So, and then I just grabbed like a coffee table books with some beads that I had from Amazon. And I just put my little markers and stuff here from this inside this little vase over here. And the little fur mom cup that I had over here, I just put it up here instead. And I just added some little eucalyptus so that there's more greenery up here. And it's not just all white and muted tone colors, but I am obsessed with this. I love the way this looks it just looks so nice and fits the space much better and I love it I'm obsessed and then we have the doggies sleeping here hi Mio you don't want to look at me hi Babash are you so sleepy oh my goodness and then we have Mr. Milo over here super comfortable hi Babash are you sleeping too are you comfortable in this chair yes Hi. Hi, big boy. Hi. <laughs> I just finished taking off my makeup. My face feels really, really nice. I'm loving these Burt's Bees, Burt's Bees, Burt's Bees Micellar Facial Wipes to take off my makeup. Of course, I am gonna go wash my face because makeup wipes, unfortunately, don't thoroughly take off all of the makeup off of our skin. So how much makeup came out in the first wipe and the second wipe still had so much makeup left. So I am gonna go ahead and go on with my cleanser. I think I'm gonna use the Urban Skin RX cleanser today. I think if it's in the bathroom. If it's not, I'm probably gonna use my CeraVe one to cleanse my skin. I'll come back to moisturize and then I'm gonna be ready to just cuddle with hubby and probably just like watch a show or something until we both fall asleep.
is a message of separation. See, I know many of you have been coming here and it's like, I like DC, I like you know the colors and it got Richie Rich on Ladies and gentlemen, look what has arrived at Cuddle Chat. <laughs> in light brown oh my god i'm so excited we are about to do this first of all this came like three days early so <laughs> i'm so excited right now like i can't <laughs> and this is our living room a hot mess we're washing the rugs right now well actually they're already dry so hubby just went to get them so we could put them and the egg chair is gonna go in this corner right here until the weather gets warmer because once the weather does get warmer it's gonna go in the patio so this is the before without an egg chair all of that is gonna be moved pompous grass is gonna be moved and the little egg chair for meal we have a twinning egg chair now and i'm probably just gonna keep the little side stool so that it's not cluttered because i feel like there was just too much going on in this corner so I'm excited. All right, so this is the before. Egg chair is bit. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm so excited. Sorry, I'm not speaking into the microphone. <laughs> you guys have no idea how long this actually took us. This took us like two hours to do, probably. If we like timed the it right. It's beautiful. So cute. And and I'm thinking around like Mayish. I'll put it in the patio once it's like summer, summer, because now we still have some cold days, so there's no point in keeping it outside because I actually want to use it. But it actually spins. I'm not gonna spin it because of the chair, but it does spin all the way around which is so nice i also tightened all of the chairs because they were starting to get really loose and wobbly and i put this little one here this little plant here because the fresh flowers that we had actually died so i have that and, and then i just finished spraying the living room with one of my favorite scents ever the strawberry pound cake and i'm gonna keep it here so that we can constantly ch -ch 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 spray everywhere but here is a living room overview it looks so beautiful i'm so excited i love the way everything looks and i'm thinking of changing this vase because this doesn't look right on top of here but i do want the pompous grass over here and i saw a really nice vase from h&m home i think that vase will look much better over here in this little corner with pompous grass just add some height to this corner so i'm excited about that and this is what it looks like from this point of view it's nice it's not as big as i thought it was because i'm pretty tall and my head is like right here when i sit but it's cute like it's super cute and then look at mio's little egg chair milo doesn't like it but mio has one you brought me your toy thank you go get it 